What's up guys, the snowman here. I've got a fun soccer video planned for today with the World Cup going on right now. Thought it'd be fun to make my list of top 10 World Cup matches of all time. Gonna look back at all 21 World Cups up to this point and pick out some favorites. Variables like quality, drama, and star power will all come into play as I count down the best matches in World Cup history. And starting off at number 10, I've got Argentina against England in 1998. This was a round of 16 clash, the only game on my list that took place before the quarterfinals. Lots of history with these two nations. We had four goals in the first half, Shearer and Owen for England, Batistuta and Zednetti for Argentina. The key highlight, David Beckham's retaliation in the 47th minute, which earned him an infamous red card, England able to hold out until penalties, but just like two years before at the 96 Euros, it was the English bowing out in dramatic fashion after the penalty shootout. At number 9, it's my only match that wasn't tight until the end, Germany versus Brazil in the 2014 semi-finals. This game took place in Brazil in Belo Horizonte, a record 7-1 scoreline in favor of the Germans. It was dubbed the national humiliation for Brazil, the most lopsided semi-final in World Cup history. We also saw Miroslav Klose overtake Ronaldo for the most World Cup goals of all time in this match. This defeat snapped a 62-match unbeaten streak for Brazil in competitive matches on home soil that was dating all the way back to 1975, just completely outclassed. My eighth best World Cup match of all time is another semi-final, this time in 1982 between West Germany and France on a hot and humid night in Seville. West Germany scored early on, but France equalized quickly through their captain Michel Platini. This game was level after 90 and then a chaotic 30 minutes of extra time saw four more goals, two by each side. Eventually the match went into penalties, the first contest in the history of the World Cup to be decided in a penalty shootout. Karl-Heinz Rummenigge and the Germans winning an epic shootout 5-4. Number 7 is the oldest match in my top 10 as we go all the way back to 1950, the de facto World Cup final between South American rivals Uruguay and Brazil. Brazil. This game taking place at the Maracanã in Rio de Janeiro with a record 200,000 spectators in attendance. Brazil were the heavy favorites, especially given the unique format this year where a draw would have resulted in them winning the entire thing. Uh, the hosts did score first, but Uruguay netted two goals in the last 25 minutes to win their second World Cup and stun the Maracanã crowd. Unlike number seven, I do have memories of watching number six, the 2006 final in Berlin featuring Italy and France, Italy winning their fourth World Cup title following a heated battle. French legend Zinedine Zidane scored on an early penalty, but Italy's Marco Materazzi equalized in the 19th minute. Uh, it was then those two players who made headlines deep into extra time. Materazzi doing the provoking and Zidane doing the headbutting to receive a red card in the final football match of his illustrious career. France ended up faltering in the shootout without their captain, David Trezeguet, missing the lone penalty that that night. Top five now, let's give some love to England and their World Cup final win over West Germany in 1966, a home match for the three Lions in London at Wembley, England's lone international trophy, a 4-2 extra time triumph over the Germans, striker Jeff Hurst with the game winning goal as well as two others and to this day it remains the only hat trick in the final of a World Cup. Queen Elizabeth II and an entire nation present that day to witness the pinnacle of English football, led by Captain Bobby Moore, Bobby Charlton, uh, Gordon Banks in net, and many other legends of the game. Not so much fun for England at number four, 1986 quarterfinal, Argentina versus England at the Estadio Azteca in Mexico. This game held four years after the Falklands War between Argentina and the UK, which added to an already intense football rivalry. It was a match that included two of the most well-known goals in football history, both scored by Diego Maradona. First, it was the hand of God where Maradona punched the ball over English keeper Peter Shilton. The second, just four minutes later, the goal of the century, Maradona dribbling past a horde of would-be defenders and slotting the ball home en route to a victory and an eventual World Cup title. Number three is my personal favorite on this list. The most recent of these 10, Uruguay and Ghana in the 2010 quarterfinals in Johannesburg. On African soil, Ghana bidding to become the first 
first African nation ever into the semis of the World Cup. Soliman Tari scored from 40 yards out to end the first half. That put Ghana ahead, but the golden ball winner, Diego Forlan, answered back in the 55th minute. Eventually, what defined this match was Luis Suarez intentionally blocking a shot with his hand late in extra time. That got him a red card and a sending off, but it was a worthy sacrifice as Asamoah Gyan hit the ensuing penalty off the crossbar. The full-time whistle was immediately blown. Uruguay wins the shootout. They advance to the semis, and the rest is history. In my opinion, the second best match in World Cup history is the 1954 final in Switzerland between West Germany and Hungary, nicknamed the Miracle of Bern in Germany as they upset the heavily favored golden generation of Hungarian players. The mighty Magyars led by icons like Ferenc Puskas and Sándor Kocsis. Uh, Hungary had beaten Germany in the group stage this year, eight goals to three. They were unbeaten in 31 matches and the reigning Olympic champions. Within eight minutes, it was Hungary leading two goals to nil, but Germany fought back. The score was level midway through the first half and then Helmut Round scored the game-winning goal in the 84th minute to send West Germany into a state of euphoria. Number one on my list is not a shock to those who know their World Cup history. I'm going with the epic Italy-West Germany clash in their 1970s semi-final in the Estadio Azteca. Italy won 4-3 after extra time. A record five of the seven goals were scored in extra time. Italy went up early. The Germans didn't tie things up until the 92nd minute. Then in the extra 30 minutes, proceedings got incredibly wacky. Gerd Mueller scored a couple of times, but Italy finally landed the decisive blow in the 111th minute. Giovanni Rivera with the game winner. Italy would go on to lose the final to Pele and Brazil, but they'll always have the semifinal win to be proud of, a match that was aptly nicknamed the Game of the Century. Thanks a lot for watching my Top 10 World Cup Matches of All Time video. Please like and subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media for more soccer and football content. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if I missed off any major games, uh, what you agree with and disagree with about my list, but should be back very soon. Cheers.